اجلاس رسمی شورای حقوق بشر در مقر ملل متحد در ژنو سخنان نماینده انجمن بین المللی حقوق بشر زنان موج ادام ها در ایران دفاع از حقوق اشرفی ها و تاکید بر تعهدات آمریکا و ملل متحد Thank you, Mr. President. Women's Human Rights International Association is gravely concerned about the deteriorating human rights situation in Iran. This year only, the government of Iran has conducted more than 150 executions, many of them public hangings. This marks a sharp increase in the rate of executions. Most of the executions have been for drug-related offenses. However, in many cases, this is a cover for political executions. On March 5th this year, the Secretary General of the Judiciary Human Rights Council in Iran commented on the increased rate of executions that, quote, our expectations of international organizations and the world is to be grateful for this great service to humanity, end of quote. This development deserves the Council's immediate and focused attention. In this context, we ask the Special Rapporteur on the situation of human rights in Iran to conduct an investigation on the massacre of dissidents in Iran, particularly the mass execution conducted in 1988. Conditions in Iran's prisons continue to be extremely harsh, in particular for prisoners of conscience who endure torture, are denied medical care, and are killed in secret by security forces. Many also find their loved ones harassed and pressured by government forces. We want to highlight especially the family members of the former residents of Camp Ashraf in Iraq, many of whom have been arrested, tortured, and sometimes executed simply for their family bonds to these dissidents. The former residents of Ashraf, now residents of Camp Liberty, are also under harassment by the government of Iraq. Over the past two weeks, the Iraqi authorities have prohibited the entry of medicine and food to the camp using fictitious excuses. The five-year-old medical siege on Camp Liberty has so far resulted in the death of 18 residents. This blockade is a serious breach of the quadripartite agreement of 16 August 2012 between United States, United Nations, Government of Iraq and Residents of Liberty. We therefore call on the Council and all the human rights mechanisms to work to end this siege, commensurate with the repeated and written commitments on the safety and well-being of Camp Liberty residents until the last of the residents leave Iraq. Thank you.